My name is Thomas and we have something special for you today. We are taking a look at the 2016 Ford Fiesta ST. So in 2010 we got the Ford Fiesta and that was a good car. It did well and in 2014 Ford brought the Fiesta ST to American shores. So how did Ford differentiate this trim level, the ST, from the other trim levels like the Titanium and the ST models? Well let's start from the front and we'll work our way to the back. So let's take a look closer here. As I said before this is the molten orange color have those black wheels with the red calipers. So Ford did a good job making this car look a little bit more appealing and aggressive compared to the base model. The profile looks really nice, especially with that uh, rear deck lid spoiler. Usually you'll have a silver trim on the door windows. This car does have the ebony package with the black wheels and the black trim, so that looks really stealth. And it does fit the theme of the uh, car. Here's a good look at the paint right here. See that sparkle in the paint here. So it does look kind of red in the dark but in direct sunlight there's a nice orange sheen to it. Move to the rear and you have this rear deck lid spoiler lower down with the rear fascia a lot lower and your dual tip exhaust. As I said before, Ford did lower this car an inch compared to the factory Fiesta. This car also has summer tires and bigger brakes with more aggressive pads. So it's really nice, those big headlights. These are halogen headlights. Ford did not equip these with HIDs or LED. Before we go inside, let's take a look at the engine. And here's your engine bay, pretty clean and stock looking. So what you're looking at is Ford's 1.6 liter inline four turbocharged EcoBoost engine. So in this configuration, this engine is producing 197 horsepower and 202 pound-feet of torque. So let's go inside and see what this interior looks like. Ford has this nice key fob right here. Put it in my pocket. You have this black button. Just push it to unlock. And you open her up. So the first thing you notice here are these nice Recaro bucket seats. These things are awesome. Very supportive yet comfortable, great for long road trips. If you are a bigger guy like myself or even bigger, then this might be a little bit too tight. But for the average person, this might be perfect size for you. They are well worth the $2,000 upgrade. So let's go in here and start this bad boy up. All right, has a nice sound to that door. Let's put the car on. Signature Ford chimes. Okay, so for the interior, it's a nice place to be. It looks pretty good. Uh, all the colors here are uniform. You have a two-tone interior. Uh, majority of it is black with some red accents and some silver trimming here. But for the most part, the theme is usually black and red. The door here looks pretty good. It's not leather. It is plastic. It's very hard plastic, but it has a texture to it. The padding here for your elbow, though, is pretty good. Looks like or feels like memory foam. You have four window switches right here, one for each door. The driver is the only automatic up and down. The rest are manual, so you do have to hold that down. Besides that, you have this trim piece right here. You have some speaker grills right here. You have some more aluminum trim that is plastic, though. And then you have your power mirrors. Over here, you have your headlight. You have automatic headlights on, off, and your fog lights. And on top here on the dash, you have a little bit more of that plastic that we saw on the door. Besides that, the steering wheel is the first thing you see when you sit down here. It's a pretty good size steering wheel. I thought it would be a little bit smaller, but it is the, a good size. It is leather wrap. It is not very soft leather though, but it is perforated over here. And then you have your switches here. So you have your radar controls and then you have all your cruise control switches over here. You can uh, change some of the settings here in this little, I guess, LCD display right here. The gauge layout is pretty good. You have your tack, a pretty decent sized tack on the left side. Uh, with that white and red font goes to around I guess 6,500 RPM where the red line starts. The color is nice and it's very legible. To the right you have your stop stop button. This one has a smart key so there's no key in the ignition. You just press your clutch and then hit the start stop button. Then you have the center stack right here which is pretty cool. Initially when you sit down in this car it looks very plain but you get used to it very easily. What you're looking at here is the Sync 3 by Ford and you can easily upgrade to have Apple CarPlay as well. So it's a pretty nice screen, very good resolution, very clear. The maps are very responsive. The screen, the touch is very good as well. 
and then if you do connect your phone you have all your apps and stuff the center is pretty cool uh it looks pretty plain i've seen this in other cars as well but this is a pretty compact layout it does have climate control this is the top of the line uh ford fiesta so you do have your automatic for that um, shows you the fan speed your temperature so it is climate control it will regulate the temperature in the cabin these knobs are very plasticky you can f definitely feel the uh the lightness to it and the resistance isn't that great but there are some detents so it does click lower down you have your seat warmers uh, this does have the optional Recaro seats as I showed earlier and this button right here is pretty special this is your interior ambient lighting you can hit that you won't see it right now but you can actually change the colors in the interior last but not least you have this nice little shifter right here this is leather wrapped a nice shifter very nice weight to it the gates are pretty tight and it's very smooth you have your e-brake right here but it's not leather wrapped I wish it was it is plastic I think all we have to do right now is go for a test drive and see how this car feels. I'm really looking forward to this drive here. All right, we're in reverse. There's no reverse camera on this car. That was a real shocker to me, honestly. A 2016 car with a navigation screen and there's no reverse camera. So um, I wish Ford could do better than that. Uh, those cameras doesn't, don't cost too much and you already have the screen here, you know, it's a uh, top of the line trim level all right so this is a very bumpy road i'm going like five miles an hour and i can already feel every little bump and crevice in this road look like it's about to rain again every time i do a test drive and we're off all right so the clutch seems a bit heavy but this is a performance car so have to kind of expect that. Steering is like immediate, very instant. Uh, it is wet now, which is that's not the best time for this, but it does feel really good. We're rolling here on 40 uh, aspect ratio tires here, so you will feel everything. But the pedal feels good. induction noise there so there is some intake noise and Ford did do that with the engine bay which is good um, because you want to hear your engine sometimes I can hear the intake more than the uh, exhaust which is cool all right coming up on some nice curvy roads here I'm gonna test the suspension out put the third gear and second gear see how this car feels feels very flat Be very short travel to get to the friction point but uh, I think that's by nature of this car that sound good though brakes are fantastic two power bands in this car it's, it's very weird almost like you have the initial turbo spool up where you feel that rush of power and then I feel another surge of power this car does have variable cam timing in both the intake and exhaust cam so that's probably what's working here as we go to the RPM and uh, I can definitely feel that
specs uh, don't really show it on paper. This thing has a zero to 60 of around seven seconds. So I think a, a quarter mile of 16 seconds is a quarter mile, but it feels so much more powerful, so much more peppy. I mean, the suspension has a lot to do with it. On smooth road, it feels really good. On bumpy roads, you can definitely feel all the uh, bumps and things here. There's another corner here. I've been driving this car for a few minutes now and this thing is great um, if you can fit in these seats you will not have a, a problem commuting on a daily basis this thing is a nice daily car if you can the suspension is a little firm but you can easily live with this car everything is great well laid out the ergonomics is great and it's been showing me 40 miles per gallon here which is pretty good on paper this thing does do, I think, uh, 34 or 36 miles per gallon on the highway. Um, acceleration is great. Uh, you have good passing power. Even in sixth gear, if you just dump on it, turbo spools up and then it, it goes. Sounds really nice. So with that said, on the bakery rating system, this car gets a 4.5 out of 5 loaves of bread. 4.5 out of 5. That's a really good score. There are some, a few things why I didn't get a five out of five loaves. For me, it's just, it has all the options it has. It has sunroof, it has navigation, it has a six-speed manual, everything is great. What it is lacking is that rear view camera. Not even with trajectory, I would just take a regular camera, that'd be great. Um, the power is great. I wish we had more power. This is a very nice, nimble car. With this chassis, I'm sure this car can handle a little bit more power and still be drivable. So maybe 230 horsepower, 245. Uh, and I know that's getting into the territory of the Focus SC, and that's probably why they didn't do that. Uh, 2018, the car was discontinued. It's still available in Europe. If you want to go to Europe and get one, that's great. But besides that, this car, it's a blast to drive. Nice torque. The only cars in this segment that competes with the SD would be the Fiat 500 Abarth and Mini Cooper S. Besides that, this one seems the most extreme or the most precise. Alright guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Peace! Okay, so for the interior, it's a little hot. But it's right here. This is what this guy's talking about. can't get to a single review with me. Uh. What's up guys, Thomas back here for another video and the police is right behind me, so let's see what he has to say. How you doing? Uh, what? what are you doing? Uh, recording a video. Oh, yeah, what are you doing? A car review. A what? A car review on the car. I just got it, so we're doing a car review on this car, so I have it, the backdrop and everything. Oh, the... that's cool, let me get the hell out of your picture. No, you're good, man. You're good, man. He has the same thing. This Almost. has got the police package, though. Yeah, I'm sure it's a little more power, yeah. It's got the heavy duty brakes, 300 horsepower. It does about 150. <laughs> Tube. So I do a lot of reviews. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, so it's a hobby one on my days off. When I get the cars, I just come in a nice scenic area over here and just do it. We're just less traffic.